Hey y'all, Sarah here at the Heartfully Homespun, and today I'm bringing you a view from my messy closet. It's semi-organized, but it's definitely not where I want it to be. Whoops, <laughs> and my dog is fixing to come through and knock over the camera. Oh. No map, no map. It's okay, let him through. Come on, come Just on. Don't knock it. Ah, another glimpse <laughs> of my crazy life. I should definitely call. Unleash some back with my <laughs> puppy. Okay, okay. I definitely should have called my channel this crazy life or something like that. Yeah, here's a glimpse of my closet. It houses a lot of things. There's my clothes, all the craziness. Yes. Okay. Okay. Anyway, enough with the introduction. I am going to bring you along as I clean my closet and you may see some clips of the dog or whatnot while I'm trying to clean this crazy closet. Anyway, and I will try to show you an after um, when I'm done. I hope to get it done in not an extreme amount of time, so we'll see. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. So I thought I would just, I thought, well, this is kind of like, I'm having to hang all my clothes. So I thought I would just come on here and maybe kind of chat a little bit. I closed my closet door, so, so no interruptions, hopefully. But anyway, if there is, I was like, oh, what's that noise? But I thought I would show y'all also, look what I found at Walmart. Aren't they the sweetest? They were actually on sale for, yep, you saw that, $4. I got 
my daughter who is seven she'll be eight at christmas and i got my son who is six and he will be seven at christmas i got them both to peep the cat they love peep the cat and i got some peep the cat books but it's a surprise they were actually with me when i bought these so i'm hoping they'll forget it by christmas so they have to be. <laughs> but anyway i thought i would get on here for a few minutes and chat i'm not gonna do a long chatty video because this is supposed to be a clean with me and I'm I'm chatting but I thought I would like talk a little bit about like my organization of clothes which is not a huge organization of clothes it's just me basically putting things where they work for me like skirts I put them in the top of my closet which I will show you in a few minutes and so I just basically fold my skirts same for my pants, same for shorts, same for underwear and all that kind of stuff. I have a container at the top of my closet for that because I don't have a dress or anything like that. Um, I just prefer to just have it all in my closet or in a bag. And the bag behind me right here, it's like a little um, travel bag. It says Na Nashville. I actually got it in Nashville. So, yeah. um, that aside, <laughs> I put all my jammies in here. Um, nightgowns, whatever I have for sleeping. I put all of that in this bag and it's just easy to access. And so, just randomness, random shirts, sleep shirts, whatever I have. Then, what I've been doing lately for like uh, any tank tops I have, I will just like hang them on a hanger like this and then they will fit like six or whatever on there. Um, but I also have the shower curtain hooks, which I will show you, and I would like to get more of those. So, yeah, the bod is easy. And then the shirts, I try to hang up shirts and dresses, but then like skirts and stuff like this. This is a skirt. Isn't this so cute? I got it from a thrift store. Actually, it's like a nice thrift store. So, yeah, every once in a while, I find something that actually is really nice. So that's always fun to do. Um, oh yeah, and then of course underwear, which I won't show you my underwear because that's just not even cute. But anyway, um, doo -doo -doo, just like, like, uh, just like sleeveless shirts. Oh yeah, that's something else I do. Sleeveless shirt, tanks, scarves all go on like something like this which i really need to fix this because this is like a hot mess express but we're not really looking for perfection right now i'm mostly looking for it to be done but like scarves like this oh that's cute my sister gave it to me and it's so pretty it will be so pretty right now i have to well right now we have the mask mandate so everywhere i go i just have to wear a little mask around my neck you know like one of those little headband type things is what i use so i can't wear any of my pretty scarves right now it's mm. not fun but anyways that aside this is not going to turn into a debate about masks but yeah i love it it looks so pretty like in the fall and winter time um yeah so not much to chat about but yeah Still doing the mask thing. I'm not going to talk about how much I like or don't like it. <laughs> we won't even get into that. It gets, one thing I have noticed, I don't know if y'all noticed this. I don't know if y'all could see it on the camera. Yeah, I get, I'm getting acne breakouts from it. So, yeah, so fun. So fun. It's really fun. Oh, yeah, it's been super hot where I was. We actually had a really big storm come through. We actually did some damage, like, um, tore down some of our fence. So we're gonna work on fixing that. It wasn't too terribly bad, but yeah, it did that. And yeah, so it did that. So there's that. That's, oh yeah, we got a lot of rain. Our power went out for like three hours. <laughs> but I was like super worried about our food. Like, would it go bad? But when the power came on, all, everything in the freezer was frozen and everything in the refrigerator was very cold. So I was like, wow, maybe it's just like the older fridges that didn't hold the power. Because I know like if we went with power for very long, oh yeah, I'm gonna have a random burlap sack that I got from a feed store. Isn't that so cute? I use them to decorate, like put them on the wall and then put a picture in front of them. Actually it turns out pretty cute, I'll have to show y'all. More decorating videos coming soon or room reveals or something. I'm so fancy. 
Um, yeah, so life has been crazy. Really, really crazy. We're starting school next week. Yay. I'm excited actually. And more homeschool curriculum um, organization videos coming at you soon too. I just have to have the time to film and edit and upload. For some reason my upload, since we moved to a smaller town, um, it takes like an hour for my video to upload. So my, if I'm uploading on my phone even, yeah, my phone is like stuck like an hour and I can't do anything on the phone until it's done uploading. So if anybody texts me, which it happens often, or calls me, it stops uploading. <laughs> I really need to get my computer fixed so I can upload on my computer. That needs to happen. So, yeah. So that's a crazy situation right there. Oh yeah, I'm getting hangers out of this bag that I had hangers in. If you wonder what the noise is. Hopefully I can like turn the noise down a little bit, but we'll see about that. I have my random shoes. I need to put up shoe. Oh yeah, look. Do y'all have an Ollie's? If you have an Ollie's, I love this baby magic baby lotion. My kids are not babies, but I still like them to smell like a little baby. So $2.99 for this 30 ounces. I mean, my older one went and he will not use this kind of stuff, but hmm, I wish we had like smell vision It smells so, so good. I want to put that there without knocking my camera over. Anyway, we have some more, more randomness. Oh, I forgot about this lotion for $1.29 from Ollie's. I love Ollie's. I really thought the first time I went into our Ollie's in North Texas, I was like, it kind of sucks. Like I just really thought it just wasn't that good. I basically like went down the main aisle and I was like, this really isn't anything interesting. Excuse me. Yes. Hi. Mm, it is lavender and chamomile. But then I went back with my brother and sister-in-law and my mom to Ollie's and I bought Christmas gifts. Like I went hog wild. Like I seriously could have bought everyone a Christmas gift there. Ah, I'm itching. Sorry, I'm being very appropriate here. Being very, I mean not appropriate's not the right word, but very, um, I'm using proper etiquette here. Scratching my nose and <laughs> biting open the bottle. Very proper over here today. <laughs> If you can't tell, this is a very relaxed laid back video. <laughs> I'm trying to tear up the price tag, which is going to be kind of impossible. I got a little bit of it off, but I'll worry about that later. Anyway, a hat. One of my hats. Um, oh, a little sack of earrings. Then I have a random necklace, a random <laughs> a hair deal. All right, let's toss it aside. I'm gonna pretend we just didn't do that. Ooh, more hangers. Oh, I gotta show y'all something that I got from Tuesday morning. Oh yeah, did y'all know the Dollar Tree sells Mod Posh? I'm actually gonna use it for a few projects coming up, so stay tuned. Oh yeah, Tuesday morning sells these little sweet little bags. It's very random, but they're pretty neat. They're not like the strongest bags in the world. Like we went somewhere for a few days and I used that bag and well, one of them busted. So yeah, it's not that strong. Okay, that was very random. But anyway, I got a phone call. So, and I had to, I had to take it. But anyway, I got this from our local Goodwill. Look at this, how cute is this? Ooh, I love it so much. Like it was like new, like it's still got the tags on it from a store. Don't know what the store is, but anyway. From some kind of Western store for $30. Regular price. Somebody paid $30 for this. I don't know if they got it for a gift and they didn't fit or they didn't like it, but it's got like the little cowhide right here. It is so cute. I'm definitely gonna wear it soon. I cannot wait to wear it actually. It's really cute. I love it so so much. I'll probably pair it with. I don't know. I have like these little, I have a few kimono type things, which I personally love, but I I really haven't had that much to wear with them, so I haven't worn them that much. So 
I'm almost down to the bottom of my bucket, but I throw in my clothes when I don't want to fold them. Yes, I know. Lazy here. But um, I need to, I'm wanting to get this closet clean today, among other things today. I actually want to start in my son's room as well. I'm just going to start painting. I did my daughter's room. I did our hall, our dining room, kitchen, one bathroom. I did... Oh, laundry room. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to show you the laundry room. I, I just got so many videos I want to show y'all. I want to show y'all every room in our house. But, like I said, it takes a lot of time to edit and upload. Especially the slow situation we have out here. Why our internet is so damn slow. Anyway. <sighs> Problems. Problems. And it's not it's not even a problem. Like I'm I shouldn't even be complaining about it honestly. It's not even there are so much worse things in the world than me complaining about the situation of my internet. And my video is taking an hour to upload because it's really nothing when you think about it, but I guess it's just a little annoyance at the time that I'm uploading it. So if you see less videos right now, it's because of that. So we have that. Anyway. Oh, this is a cute little shirt, too, that I got. Oh, I think I got it from Goodwill, too, that day. Look at that. It's like, it's definitely like a shirt on me, because I'm pretty tall. I'm six foot tall. So, to me, this this would just barely cover my booty. So I thought it'd be nice in the fall with, like, some black leggings and maybe some kind of a black long shirt, long sleeve shirt, maybe. Because it's definitely, like, thin, so I don't want to wear it, like, without something. And if I wear it just as a shirt with a skirt, it's going to look like I'm pregnant. So, we have to fix that. So enough about that. Oh, this is something else I bought. I don't know if it, I think it might have been from a thrift store. It was, I'm sure. But I don't know, was it? I don't remember where I bought this from, but I thought it was really cute. It's so southwest looking. Very cute and tags that I'm gonna throw away. Do you ever do this? I'm gonna show you other that other piece of cat that I bought from Walmart. That's so cute. My oldest would have loved it. We loved Pete the cat as a little boy. But I wanna show you something. Do you ever do this? I bought Ray Dunn. They were on sale at Home Goods or TJ Maxx somewhere in there. Anyway, I was out of town. I bought some it's taking forever to get this out of the slide they were normally um i think they were like normally 17 dollars, and i pay like maybe 13 or 12 dollars for two chair pads that i used in my front uh, my front porch anyway i don't have a big front porch but i just have i just sit out there a lot anyway it has the ray done this little burlap and i just don't want to get rid of it do y'all ever do that do y'all ever like i want to do something with this I don't know what I'm going to do. I could even turn it over and just do the white on something. Like on the bottom of curtains or on the bottom of something. Oh, I just thought of something. Would it work on the bottom of the feed sack? What would it look like on the bottom of the feed sack? It's actually kind of cute. I like that. I don't know if I'll do that, but I might. Maybe another video. Maybe another video idea. But anyway. Do y'all ever do that where y'all save like the tie when it's like really nice tie and you buy something? Ray Dunn. I love me some Ray Dunn stuff. I love it. I have a few Ray Dunn plates. I have two Ray Dunn mugs. Like I have like the small plates, but we use them like all the time. Like when my kids have a snack, we always use them. Whoops, it sounds like my kids are having a big fight. So I guess I better finish cleaning my closet and check on my kids. I'm sure they're not all oh, going crazy. is my finished clean closet.
bit organized. It's kind of hard to see. I'll try to take you through. I'm sitting outside of the door. There is a man. Hi, y'all. And I'm gonna scan it, pan around. I'm sitting outside of my closet. It's not super huge, but it's definitely big. <laughs> not gonna lie, it's big. All right, I will come in and close the door so I don't have any interruptions. But yes. There is, let's start, there's the door. And I, this is what I keep my uh, socks and underwear in. <laughs> slips and things um skirts in this container pants in this container and i think sh pants and shorts as you can see i do not have a hall closet so i put all of my fall stuff and christmas stuff that's a christmas stuff there's a Chris fall picture right there that i did for a fall goodwill challenge love it lots of fall stuff ah, i love these i love looking at this stuff every day that's full of ornaments pillows lots of pillows that's a quilt my great-grandmother made i inherited it and i love it it's my favorite thing in the world i love it i want it to always see it i want to actually get it fixed and she actually sewed each of these little pillows and i want to get um get it fixed and i was thinking i have some different options that i'm looking at to get it fixed so i definitely want to get that fixed all of because I would love to display it on my bed, but I'm not able to do that right now because it will fall apart. That's just a Christmas bear that I put on one of the kids' uh, beds, and then that's the fox. I just have it setting up there. I don't know. I'm sure it could look a little little. Come on, look a little cuter fox. <laughs> anyway, ah, arm's tired. Then I just have more Christmas stuff. As you can see, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas fall thankful and gather i can't believe it i'm fixing to be able to pull down all of my fall stuff that's my little fall squirrel my grandma gave me i love it so so much and then of course these are just containers uh these two right here for my kids to grow into my youngest two kids but i have like a christmas bin a fall bin got some Christmas presents and also some fall stuff. I'll probably use this bin for fall and Christmas. I love it. I love apple crepes so much. As you can see, I have that one down there. Then I have that one and that one. That one's already painted for Chris for fall and that one's for Christmas. Little ornaments, new that I bought last year at the dollar store. So I can't wait to use those this year. And as you can see, this is our little small tree. I love looking at it every day. Of course, it's not completely finished. Um, but, um, the big tree, as you can see, there's definitely room right here for a bigger tree. Some space right down here that I can store it right here on the floor. Then this is where I store my dresses. I know this is not a very good angle. And then this is like vet, uh, jackets and coats and over shirts, like kimono type things. Oh yeah, and I have another one right here. I love this. I love this. I haven't worn it, but I love it. Now this one, I actually do wear it quite a bit. I try not to because I wear it too much. Of course, jackets and coats back there. Then I have shirts and vests. And shirts, vests, and... Now I just mix up seasons. It doesn't bother me. Because I'll pull, even if it's summer, you know, if we have a cooler day or if I just want to. Sometimes I just feel like wearing like a mid-sleeve shirt that I'll pull this up. And I don't mind doing that. Same for this. Which it, it's kind of is for the fall. But I think it's cute in the summer too. So, right here, see this? Was talking about the shower curtain hooks. I do that for my vests and tank tops. And here is just where I wanted to store my jewelry, but basically I just have a few pieces that I wear um, often to church or whatever. And then I have my hat down there. I don't like to because anytime you store a hat like this, it can be like messes up the the bill of it. Earrings. My shoes, love these little shelves. These shelves were already here, so I have no idea. Like, I don't know the sizes or anything like that. But I have sandals. I just stack my sandals. I'm sure my dog took this one. And I really love this one because it had gold on it, but it was just a flip flop. But now I have these gold ones that I love. Then, and I don't know, I know there's some yellow box ones in there. There's some, um, Oh yeah, some random flip-flops and black shoes I haven't worn yet. They're from Walmart. I love those so much. They're like 
Anyway, they like those those kind. Anyway, I'm sure y'all have seen them. Yellow box. This pair I've had forever. I love these so so much. I'm not willing to give them up yet, even though I really need to do something about this right here. I need to like paint it or something. But I love it. And then these are my guest shoes. I think I got them from TJ Maxx. As you can see, uh, they're well loved. <laughs> so that's just basically like flip flops. I don't like. The only thing I like keep separate is I have boots down here. And that's just randomness right there, like jewelry and just stuff I didn't want to deal with today. Then I have over here, I just have a bag of randomness again. Um, then, like I said, I keep all my jammies in this Nashville bag right here. So, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Oh, those are nutcrackers. That's like my favorite Christmas thing ever. And I love seeing these every single day. I love Christmas and Thanksgiving. Can't wait to decorate. I'm definitely going to be show it, sharing lots of Thanksgiving and Christmas videos. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. And I'll talk to you guys really soon. Talk to you in the comments. Bye-bye.